How to use ClickUp for Project Management 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking about ClickUp and how you can use this amazing project management software to you know manage your life easier you know you could be in a workspace you could be the leader of a project you could be the president you could have a solo project you could be doing this just to assign your daily tasks to yourself but for whatever you want to do trust me ClickUp is going to do it for you because ClickUp has one of the best features that you can think of to be very honest so yeah once you come to ClickUp's main page it's going to be clickup.com okay and ClickUp.com has all these things, you know, one app to replace them all. You know, you have tasks in one place, whiteboards, dashboards, chat, goals, documents, and a whole lot more. So really great, really incredible stuff. Now, to start things off, obviously, we're going to go ahead on get started. And once it comes to going ahead on get started, First of all, you're going to go ahead and use your email. OK, so I'm going to put in my work email over here and we're going to click on get started. Now, it's free forever and you need no credit card. Obviously, it has its plus plans. OK, it has its upper business plans and all. But in, uh, you know, the case of a free plan, it's totally free and it's free forever. You don't need a credit card or a free trial. It's absolutely out of this world now to move on with the, our sign up process i'm just going to come here and uh, let me just scroll back to the sign up and once you're in the sign up again you're going to go ahead with your email you're going to add a password for yourself then i'm just going to go ahead add and we're going to go ahead and click on play with clickup and once you click on play with clickup obviously it's going to take you over here where it's going to ask you for a verification so Obviously, I'm just going to go ahead and verify myself. And once everything is verified from there on out, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the whole setup process of uh, ClickUp. Now, over here, it's going to ask name of your workspace. You can go with anything. John's workspace, text workspace, etc. I'm just going to go with this one because it just looks better, in my opinion. Now, once you've gone with that, basically from there on out, what's going to happen is that you're going to see a page like this, you know, choose your apps. Select the click of features you like to start with and easily access from your sidebar. Now, obviously, this also depends on you on whatever kind of look you want to go with. Uh, there's, you know, docs, dashboards, whiteboards, etc. You can go with all three of them if you want to. I'm just going to go with docs and dashboards for now. I don't really want to work with whiteboards because, you know, I don't really deem them too useful. See, so yeah, I'm moving on here. They say, what is your department of work? You know, what department do you actually prefer working in? Because according to that is it will basically optimize our, you could say, uh, yeah, optimize our click up according to that. Now, basically from here, I'm going to go with the project management or if project management's not there, just go with something like sales and CRM. I'm going to go with that. How many people will you be working with? Give the size of your team. Uh, tell them if you want to add your team. Do you want to use any of these tools? These are basically your integrations. Rike, Trello, Asana, Jira. Uh, you can integrate these if you want to. I'm going to skip them because I don't have integration. I'm going to skip this again. How did you hear about us? I'm going to go with anything random. It doesn't really matter. Let's set up your first project. So. I'm just going to call my first project the first project. What would you like to manage? You know, there's tasks, leads, and then there's deals. I'm going to go with tasks. Then you're going to name your tasks. I'm going to do all of this later on. So, you know, we can get a more lively view on how we can add tasks. We can edit tasks and all that. So once you go on next, it's going to bring you here. It says, welcome to ClickUp. Watch this quick video to know how ClickUp can transform your productivity. So I'm going to go ahead skip the video and once the video is skipped from here on out things are going to look somewhat like this so let's talk about how we are going to be you know adding descriptions in those tasks and doing a whole lot of other things when it comes to messing around with the features of ClickUp. now to start things off for ourselves let's talk about adding tasks 
So this is our basic, you know, first project dashboard. And to change your project name, you can just click over here, list settings, and you can rename your project if you want to. I'm just going to keep it my first project. Now here you can add different tasks. So you're going to click on that. And once you click on that, you get a command for task names. So let's say I'm going to add, you know, um, I'm going to go with sales meeting. I'm going to call this sales meeting. And once you do that, yeah, there we go. We clicked on save. So task one, task two, task three, task four. You can also edit the name of these tasks. So rename, I'm going to go with TRM. Okay. Then there's task two. I'm going to go with the coding, you know, just as an example. So you can rename tasks just like this. And uh, you can add more things like um, Trello integration. There we go. So you're just going to add these things. Now, moving on, what you're going to do from there is you're going to be clicking on any task, for example, and it's going to open up some, you know, things like these. Now, once it opens up things like this, you're going to get a chance to, you know, write descriptions in it. You can add attachments in it and a whole lot of other data and details. Now, what do I mean by other data and details? In descriptions, you're going to tell people what they're going to do with this task. You know, like I can write over here, hey, guys, in this CRM, we're going to, you know, do an analysis of our customer relationship management program. We're going to see how our customer relationship thing is going and a whole lot more. Then there's to do. OK, and in the to do section, basically, um, we can add different tasks for ourselves as well, which is pretty easy and pretty terrific. And that's the fun thing about adding tasks that you get the freedom of adding as many as you want and as quick as you want, which is pretty incredible, in my opinion. Then moving on, you have subtasks like, you know, for one big task, you can have small subtasks for people to have easier workflows for themselves. Then moving on, there's attachments as well. So you can, you know, give them the help. Like, let's say you want them to follow some certain type of analysis so you can give them cue cards in the form of PNGs and put it in attachments for better understanding for your workspace. Now, then moving on, once we have done that, there's different things over here as well. You can assign certain people certain things. So let's say I'm going to assign this to this person. You can give them a due date as well that, hey, if you don't have it to me by the 18th, yeah, we're done. So, you know, you get the point, you get the due date. Then there's priorities. You know, you can keep it urgent, high, low, normal, etc. Then there's time estimates that I need this in 45 hours, etc. Then there's status. Status is also a pretty important place because to do in progress needs review. So this is also a pretty fun place because this tells, you know, how much work has been done, how much work is being done, etc. Now, moving on, this is the list view. Let's move on to the other views. There's different views that you can go with. So there's board view, which is the Kanban board like Trello. There's table views, mind map, workload, activity, etc. So the best thing right now that I can show you is the board view because the list and board view are the most commonly used views in uh, you know project management softwares. And I would just recommend you going with this one because this one is just much better when it comes to the ease of use. So yeah. Basically, this is pretty much about it when it comes to the basics of ClickUp, and this is how you're going to use it for your project management. And obviously, one final thing, how are you going to invite people into your workspace? So to invite people, all you're going to do is you're going to come down here, you're going to click on invite, and you're going to start adding their emails and send invitations, and you're good to go. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you people next time. Goodbye.